my name is Isaac Guest from Bugo Systems. Today I'll be demonstrating the Mini Manipulator along with our 5050 Pendulum Weaver from our K-Bug line. Um, I would like to go through some of the functions and motion control of the system first and then we will demonstrate a weld. So today I'd like to talk a little bit about the motion control of the two systems that we will be putting together to create a weld. The first system is the Mini Manipulator which is controlled by two main drive motors, one that controls horizontal axis and one that controls vertical axis. I have the ability to release the rail from the main drive motors to quickly align my rail with my workpiece. I also have the ability to control travel speed off of each motor independently. The system is set up with limit switches so I do not have the ability to eject the rail without doing it manually. It will shut the system down if I do hit a limit switch. This is just for safety. The system is also has the ability to rotate in a 360 degree pattern to be able to reach your workpiece in various areas of your shop. Okay, for the second half of the system I'd like to talk to you about the 5050 pendulum weaver from our K-Bug line. It's a very simple little module that controls the whole system. I have the ability to add in a dwell for my left and right side of my welds. I have the ability to control my weave amplitude and my weave speed. Also, this is set up with a contactor to where I can send a signal back to my power source to strike an arc. I'll go ahead and set the system up and demonstrate a little bit about how it works. Somewhat of a quick release mount for easy cleaning of your gun torch, or mounting other equipment to your mini manipulator. This has a magnetic base on it for keeping it in one position when you are using it. Those two systems are put together now, which was fairly simple. And I'll demonstrate some of the motion that that system has. So to start, I will add no dwells on either side. Just a weave. I can open up the weave width or narrow it down then I can control the speed of that weave. Speed it up, very slow weave. Now I'll add a left well. And a right. Now that we've talked a little bit about both systems, I'll manually jog the rail back into place and start prepare to run a stringer bead. Set my travel speeds. Okay. So that was basically a, str a stringer bead that we ran with the 5050 pendulum weaver and the mini manipulator. We didn't really use the pendulum weaver on that pass as much, but I'd like to show you a little bit more of what the pendulum weaver is capable of. So I'm going to run a next pass here that will be a slight weave with a little dwell on either end. So for this next pass, we're going to add a weave. Um, a slight dwell on our left and right. 
set it at point 0.2 for either of them so they're even. We'll be able to see our weave width here visually and our weave speed. I'm going to go a little bit faster on the weave speed as if it were an open root pass. I've visually seen what that weave pattern will be like. Now I'll suit up and strike another weld. Okay, for our third and final pass, we're going to do a simulated cat pass on plate. I've increased my dwells slightly, opened up my oscillation width, slowed my travel speed down a bit, and my oscillation speed I've sped up a little bit. For any other information about the Mini Manipulator or other Bugo products, please visit our website at bugo.com.